Hi everybody, I'm Lizzie McAvoy and welcome to my studio here in Nashville, Tennessee. I am a singer, songwriter, and producer, and I am so excited to be a part of this video series with music production for women. I'm gonna talk all about acoustic guitars, one of my favorite things to record in the studio, so let's get started. So the first step in recording acoustic guitar is the instrument itself. Here is the superstar. So my studio guitar is a Martin D18 Dreadnought guitar. I absolutely love recording acoustic guitar on this guitar. And early on when I started recording acoustic guitars, I had so many conflicting opinions about what kind of guitar to use. I heard use a cheap guitar, use a thin guitar. This guitar was too full bodied, it was too rich. And in my opinion, it's all about your ear. It's what you hear, it's what you want on your track. And I absolutely love the sound of this guitar. So let's talk about the microphones that I like to use on my acoustic guitar. So the first microphone is gonna be a Shure SM81. I've had this microphone over 10 years. It was my first acoustic guitar microphone. I have tried other microphones and I love how this 81 sounds. I typically place it around the 12th fret on the guitar. It's very precise. It's a transparent microphone in my opinion. It's very detail oriented. I love working with it. The second microphone that I love to use is the Microtech Gefell M930 microphone. It is a stunning large diaphragm condenser mic. The mic placement is a little strange. It's about two to three inches away from my strumming hand. I love placing the microphone here because it not only creates this really full bodied sound from the guitar, but it also picks up the guitar pick hitting the strings. So it almost creates this percussive element from the acoustic guitar. Next up, the outboard gear that I love to run these microphones through. So the first, the SM81, is going to be running through the Rupert Neve Shelfer channel, and that is a mic pre, EQ, and compressor all-in-one rack mount unit. And then the Gefell is gonna be running through the Rupert Neve Shelford 5052 and 5051, which is mic pre, EQ, and compressor as well. For this video today, I'm gonna track both microphones together as a stereo pair. And I like that when the acoustic guitar is the main focal point of the track. So like a singer-songwriter song, or maybe folk, even like a country ballad, that's how I'll track the acoustic guitar. If I'm doing more of like a pop song or more like modern country song, I'll go straight for the SM81 because it has that clean and crisp sound. Before we get tracking, let's talk about guitar picks. So I have three different styles here. I have an ultra thin guitar pick. I have a light to medium guitar pick. And then I have a thick blue chip pick.
Last, but most definitely not least, we are going into the post-editing world. So I love the FabFilter plugins. I love them not only for the visual help with showing the waveform and the plugins so you can adjust your frequency areas, but also sonically I love them. So I did just some mild EQ adjustments and then I did a really light compressor. Whenever I approach a new song or new production, I always start from scratch on the EQs and the compressors. I tailor them to the song. No matter what guitar, microphone, gear, or setup you use, the most important tool you will ever find in your studio is your ears. Always, always trust your ears. I hope this tutorial was helpful and inspiring. Now go out there and create something magical. Happy music making. Bye.